Hi. On this video, we're going to talk about how to apply for the Bing Arts program. Your first step will be to register on the district site. Online registration for the district site uh, begins November 9th. Remember, there's no district test this year, but you still need to register. Uh, when you do register, you'll be asked to choose um, the three mini schools that you uh, are interested in, and uh, you'll be asked to rank order them, uh, top pick, second pick, and third pick. So if you're just applying for us, you can just choose us first. But some of the mini schools um, ask that you choose them first, or they won't consider you. So if you're looking at another mini school beyond Bing Arts, and you need to choose them first, go right ahead. You can choose us second. We know what you really feel. Because how can you choose just one first if you're applying for many? Uh, when you register for us, uh, we're going to be looking over your, uh, your application package. And your application package is only the online submission. There is no paper submission this year. So you'll go to our website and hopefully you've been frequenting our website and we'll have a link posted there for our application form. And I have to say this year our application form is a little long. So don't panic. I'll walk you through what you need to do and we'll get you there. So beginning November 3rd or sorry, November 9th, um, you'll be able to access our online form through the Bing Arts website and we'll ask you to carefully go through each of the sections, entering your information. You can skip some of the sections that aren't mandatory and submit that information later. But if you leave out a required field, it'll be highlighted before you'll be able to move on. So no worries. The things that we need will be highlighted and you'll be able to put in the information to get the um, kind of it's like creating a bookmark. We know that you're applying to us. Uh, you'll just need to finish it by uh, the proper due date as long as you get things going and you hit submit. Uh, we'll get a link of your uh, submission and you can start to edit and add as you go on. We're only using this online form. There are a lot of steps. And again, I say don't panic. When you enter your email address, that email address will be used to uh, give you a link that you can keep adding more information as you go along. So get that contact info in first, hit submit so you have a placeholder and then start to do the work over the month of November, December, and have it done by January 1st for us. I'll explain that in a second, why we have two due dates. But in order to get ready, here are some of the things that you can do before you even go online. Uh, know your contact info, so have all of your dates and birth dates and um, uh, student numbers ready to go. Uh, you may want to start to uh, work on your written response to describing why you wish to come to our program. Uh, you'll need a recent photograph that you can upload. Uh, you'll need a PFD, PFD, <laughs> not a life jacket, sorry, a PDF uh, of your final report card from your most recent school year. So your report card from your most recent school year is likely going to be the report card that you got at the end of last year. It's unlikely that a lot of you are going to have your report card from this year because they get issued in January. So don't panic. Um, we're happy to get something that uh, gives us a snapshot of kind of how you did um, recently. And recently is last year. And let's say you had um, an uneven year and you are really improving with your performance this year. There's a spot in the online uh, application form that offers uh, you a place to give us a bit more information about your report card. So if you're doing well or if you've had issues in the past, you can let us know how you're addressing them. Again, don't panic. We just want a little bit of information about how you're doing academically so we know what we need to have in place to support you if you were to come to our program. Um, also, You'll need to show proof of Vancouver residency, a driver's ID, a BC ID card if you don't have a driver's license, uh, plus one additional document with your uh, with your address on it and your name clearly identified. Uh, it's important that you know that uh, all district mini school programs are only available for students who are residents of Vancouver. So it's not um, 
You can't have a rental that you are not occupying as your primary residence or a business in Vancouver, but you live elsewhere. It's important that you reside in Vancouver. If it comes to light later on that uh, you are not living in Vancouver, uh, our offers might be withdrawn. So just stay on top of that. Don't uh, give us a false report in order to be considered because ultimately that may um, lead to you being removed from the program. Lastly, uh, remember, we don't need a letter of reference this year. So letter of references are not being asked, uh, asked for. So the online form will also ask you to choose uh, your fine art focus areas that you wish to be considered in. Uh, it'll ask for a first choice and will also give you an opportunity to have a second choice. Your first choice, your main area of interest, will be the area that we focus on first and foremost. If we can uh, have uh, an opportunity to audition you in the second area, we will, but we'll place most of our emphasis on the first area of interest. So choose wisely. Please do not select a focus area that you do not wish to audition for. For each fine art area, you'll be asked to submit additional items that demonstrate your skill in that area. And I'll outline what each of the areas uh, are looking for. Uh, this information is also available on our website in a more detailed format. I will go through it quickly here just to give you a snapshot of some of the things that uh, you should anticipate. So for drama, they want you to submit a video of you talking on camera. They want to get a sense of you and why you want to be part of this program. Please do not add any special effects, props, or costumes to this presentation for drama. They want you to focus on you, and they want to see the real you for this portion of the process. There'll be some other opportunities to show your dramatic side later on if you get shortlisted. For media arts, they want you to submit two videos. The first one would be one of your film or films. These films can be of any genre, drama, comedy, music video, stop motion animation, could be you uh, doing a news broadcast. It's uh, a way of seeing what you're interested in. And then the second video that comes with it should feature you talking directly to the camera about the films that you've submitted. For music, and again we're talking about band, strings, and choir, each one has a slightly different approach but all of them have uh, requested a video of one to two minutes of length uh, for band and strings of you playing your instrument and then for choir you singing. Please review the website for specific guidelines and suggestions of what to include. We'd also ask that you uh, speak on camera during this video about why you'd want to join the music program. And before I move on around uh, forward with music, I'd like to say that the importance of the instrumentation that you present uh, can't be over, um, overemphasized. The instrument that you play, the one that you say that you're interested in auditioning for, should be an instrument that we're actually using in one of our ensembles. So when you uh, present for band, uh, you know, we're looking for flute, uh, clarinet, uh, horn instruments, etc. If you are performing um, an with an instrument that we do not use, um, we won't be able to audition you in that instrument because it's not something that we're looking, a seat that we're looking to fill. So give that some thought. Um, what do we use in concert band? What do we use in jazz band? So in jazz band, you can see percussion is there. Uh, we have a, some uh, guitar. We don't have... Uh, and we have some piano with strings. We have violin, viola, bass. We don't have um, positions for harp, so that wouldn't work. Uh, harp is not one of the instruments that we um, that we seek out. Marimba, uh, things like that, those kind of uh, percussion instruments we don't use in concert band. So keep that in mind, all right? And if you want to, you can email me and I'll forward on your email to our uh, uh, different music instructors for, for further clarification. Uh, one of the things I might say is piano, uh, grade 10 RCM. 
uh, would be considered the minimum. And we have uh, very few spots available for piano. So piano is a hard area to get into. You have to be quite good if you're going to be one of the students that are selected. So each of those areas that I spoke about, uh, music, drama, and uh, media arts, all asked for uh, videos to be submitted. And so one of the things that we're asking for you to do is to help us keep uh, your file size and our overall application uh, database down to a minimum. So if you, we're asking that you not send us the actual file, but instead uh, the address of the file. So we're asking that you upload them to a third-party site like YouTube. So your performance, your films, uh, you'd send us the link to be able to view those films, but you wouldn't actually send the films themselves. You wouldn't put them into uh, uh, the application file. You'd be sending us the, instead the link. And hopefully uh, that's an easy enough thing to do. Uh, just search, uh, do an online search of how to upload files to something like YouTube or Vimeo. And there's lots of instructions there to help you through it all. It's not that hard. Uh, I've been doing it a lot this year with being online uh, and online instruction. And it's a quick, easy thing to be able to, uh, to learn. So good luck with that. If you have some questions, do get in touch with us. But I would say Google is a great, uh, great source for information on how to do certain things like uploading a film. So let's finish off with visual arts and literary arts. For visual arts, we want five original pieces of art that respond to the following prompts, a bit different than past years. So this year we want to have a self-portrait in black and white, a still life of your favorite meal in color, a rework of an image from art history. We want you to create an image of a place that is important to you, and we want you to submit an image of your choice. All of these submissions should show us who you are as an artist and as a person. Be creative. Um, show us something about yourself in your self-portrait and in your still life. Don't just send in artwork that is strong, but also send in artwork that says something about who you are. And for students that are in grade 10 or above who are interested in our literary arts program, we ask that you submit five pieces of writing, including at least one analytical, analytical and one creative work. A maximum of two of them may be from school assignments, and then upload those as a multi-page PDF, okay, to the corresponding section of the application form. Whew. Again, take it easy. You got lots of time to do this. You'll be all right. The online application is open between November 9th to December 17th. December 17th is a deadline for the district programs. Uh, both the all the mini schools and the district registration should be done at that point. Now, how can you get all that stuff done that I just talked about by December 17th? It's such a short period of time. Don't panic. Work on the written response in a separate program. Get your information together, but make sure by the 17th that you've submitted your name, your contact information, and all the required fields in the application form. Hit submit. And then we have that placeholder for you on file at our school. You then have a bit of time to gather up the supportive material and make sure that you get everything into us that we require. You can still edit and add information on your file up to midnight on January 1st. And that way we can um, give you enough time to get it done right. Okay? So, Hit submit before the 17th. Keep adding things and make sure you have it done by January 1st so that when we get back to school, we're looking at your full completed file. So with the online form, when you click submit, you'll get a link sent to an e the email that you provide. That link will allow you to add and return to the file to edit and change things that you need to. If for some reason, you don't get the email, uh, something goes awry, you can just simply refill out the form. And that's why we suggest that when you do the essay and a number of the items, you save those at your house, on your computer, in a Word document 
or other areas. So you don't have to redo it from scratch. The timeline, again, November 9th to 17th for both the district registration and Bing Arts and all mini school registrations stays the same. We've got a little bit of flexibility there. So don't forget that you have that flexibility, but make sure you are aware of the due dates. Remember, on December 17th, you're not bringing anything to Bing. No physical items are required. Please do not come to the school. With the COVID rules, we just cannot have you come into the building. The online application will remain open until January 1st to allow for updates. So keep that in mind and plan accordingly. In the first week of January, we'll send out confirmation emails to all applicants. And then mid to late January, uh, we'll notify applicants that have been shortlisted based on what they've submitted to us. We're interested in you. We want to know more. Uh, but due to COVID-19, it's unlikely it will be able to have face-to-face -face auditions. So as we're moving forward, we're developing our plan for how to find out more about you and make contact uh, moving into uh, January. But make sure you have everything in your file because a lot of what you're sending us is what we're using to make our primary decision on whether or not a uh, person will be shortlisted. Can I remind you again that we have 84 spots and we have more than uh, three to four people applying for every one of those spots. So it's highly competitive. It may be that we're just not able to accept you. Be resilient. Keep doing your art. Keep being creative because that's what makes you you. Don't let us define who you are. We'll do our best to get you into our program, but it might not be this year that we are able to do it. But if we can, on Wednesday, February 24th, all mini schools will make their first round offers. You'll have until February 26th to, re to reply. Remember, it's not a first come, first spot. If we're making an offer to you, we're interested in you. You can take your time to think about it, to wait for the other offers to come in, and to make your decision. We want you to commit to us. We want you to want to be with us. Give it some time. You have until uh, noon on that Friday to get a hold of us, and we'll contact you if we haven't heard from you. You cannot accept an offer from more than one school. It's very important. We talk to each other, we'll know, all right? So don't say yes to everyone, that's not a good strategy. After that first round, there may be students that are on the wait list, and there will be a second round offer the following week. If you've not accepted somewhere else and you're on our wait list, we may, if someone has said no to us, make second round offers in particular areas. You have until the next day to reply. And again, do not accept more than one offer. And after we've done that, there'll be some paperwork to do at the school. Uh, we'll again verify your address. Uh, we'll get all your contact info and you will officially be part of Bing Arts. If you are on our wait list, there may be a third round offer if we have some people in the second round that say no, and we'll keep in touch uh, for everyone until we fill all of our spots. And again, we may not be able to get all of you in, but we wish you the best in this process. I'm Mr. Hartley Foles. My email is bingarts at vsb.bc.ca if you have any questions. And again, keep checking in our website to find out more. Best of luck with this process. There's a lot of steps. Hopefully this video was a little bit of help. Good luck and take care.